Okay guys, just a wee quick video here of the Tired 680 build and it's coming on rightly. Just a wee bit worried about this flight controller here but we'll just have to see how it goes. Now everything's only sort of on here, sort of sem semi-permanent. I uh, want to do a wee bit more work to it. And the only way to check many satellites at this is the OSD. So I need to get the OSD connected up. You can connect it to the computer, but it doesn't tell you many satellites you have, which I don't like. So I think uh, GE definitely need to up their game here with the software for the computer. I think they need to do something more, make it a bit more like Mission Planner, which I'm used to. But we're all on and sort of temporary up and running here. And I was just quickly to show you guys... Uh, what happens when I reconnect the power to it and uh, the retractable landing gear have uh, fit it as well so as you can see I know it's a bit of a mess but I will be tidying up and I have a, a canopy here for it as well and of course as always using the trusty AT10 transmitter so uh, well you'll not be able to see much at the minute so firstly I connect up uh, the battery here to uh, the power boards first to get everything powered up except for the ESCs and motor so give that a wee minute just quickly if this shows you we're flashing two blinks on the flight controller means it's spitting up there's it already on the one blink and that means now we do have GPS lock uh, but how many satellites I have, I do not know. <laughs> but uh, it says there it has GPS lock, so that's the main thing. So we're all hooked up. Uh, the lights are all working as well. Over there. So I think we're ready to go. I was a wee bit worried of this, but I reckon tomorrow I'm going to get this in the air. And uh, just try it. There's nothing I can do. You're just going to have to throw my faith in the flight controller here and I'll do another wee quick video tomorrow just to uh, let you uh, see it the only thing I don't like is is uh, whenever you arm this copter I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not probably won't be able to see it but I'll connect the battery up here right so the only thing I don't like is to arm this is uh, both sticks down and into the middle to arm it. So we'll arm it and we'll see how long. The motor starts spinning automatically whenever this is armed. So what do you see? So Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'll disarm it. I didn't mean to hit the throttle there actually by accident. So uh, what, I was, what I was telling somebody earlier on is whenever you arm this, you literally get three seconds to start giving this throttle which I don't like you know otherwise it disarms itself so it's armed there's the motors cut out already if you can hear that so we'll arm it again one two three that's quick actually so within three seconds it disarms itself and I really don't like that you know you sort of have to arm it and uh, straight away a wee bit of throttle to keep it going so that's the one thing I don't like about it but so far everything seems dead on just disarm that actually now but if you throttle down right down it disarms itself because it thinks it's on the ground which isn't bad doing that I don't mind that but uh, it's the whenever you arm it, the three seconds is I uh, don't like. But well, anyway, so quickly, we'll see about the landing gear here. And I know it's very tall; it's very high up there. But I changed the landing gear and made it actually longer myself. It's not doing too bad, you know. For like a fiver each for the for the landing gear mechanisms there, the retract mechanisms that didn't include the carbon fiber booms or anything, you know. But 
Hopefully you can see that. So that's basically it. Anyway, I'm going to put this in the air tomorrow and hopefully it flies. I know this is all a bit messy, but it's all only temporary. I'm not going to spend all my time getting this thing like flipping, I don't know, perfection to send it in the air or try to send it in the air and for it not to work. So I'll test it first to make sure it's going to fly. And if it flies, then I can spend the time on that fixing it up. So. There you go, quick look at my Tarot 680 build here, running on the GE Pro 2 flight controller. Obviously that's the BEC LED status light. And that's it, and the compass there. So. There we go, bye bye.